Hi, my name is Nate the Great. I'm the publisher of the Digital Reader blog. You're looking at a hands-on video of the Pocketbook 302. I'm going to go ahead and show you some of its um, extra features besides the ebook reading. As you can see, it has an applications. You can I don't know how to I don't know how to do it myself, but you can install your own and then run from here. One of my favorites is the is a browser. And it accesses them over Wi-Fi, which is a rather nice feature. So I just navigated to Feed Books. So the site I like to go to to get books. Um, let me go ahead and show you. Oops, well that didn't work. Just navigating around the site. Okay. So, if you want to say, if you want to Google something, that's the Google taskbar, so, uh, let's just go somewhere else. It's a decent browser, but it does sometimes take a time to load. So here's Mobile Read. Here's the mobile version of MobileRead.com. Let me go ahead and show you. See, so, showing you one of the bugs of the browser. I'm running the latest firmware, and look how it says username blank, text password blank. Um, you can't log in. That's the one one of the bugs of the browser. The other bug is that you can't um, download files. At this point, it tries to open them all as text, and if it's a large and complicated ebook, it doesn't work very well. So let's go ahead and exit. See the other apps, Calc, Cards, Chess. Cards is just a basic um, seven-card solitaire. Clock, I do like that one. The Dictionary, Scribble. And back out, and let me show you the one of the other nice features. It has an RSS feed reader. It has an, one on the device actually. There are good news. There's good news and bad news about this. Good news is, um, it doesn't access the feeds directly from the device. Instead, it uses uh, some of Pocketbook's servers. So it's very fast. The bad news is it doesn't handle all of the feeds right. Um, it doesn't handle all, you know, HTML tags properly. And also, the links leading out to the full post, those don't work. But, so... I don't know, I'm still rather like this. For simple features, it's nice. Also, when you add an RSS feed, you have to type it out by hand one at a time. It's not going to replace Google Reader, but for just a, if I just had a handful of feeds I wanted to read, I'd use it. It's nice. And hopefully they can fix this in an update. And exit out. So the other interesting features: calendar, less ordinary basic calendar. Um, music. 
I don't have any loaded, so it doesn't matter. As a photo viewer and news, applications, calendar, notes, and favorites both have to do with books, and I don't have any loaded for those. So, anyway, this was a hands on video of the Pocketbook 302. My name is Nate the Great, I'm the publisher of the Digital Reader blog.